Hello, Floss Tube. Uh, this is my first Floss Tube. My name's Marie Burr. Uh, I was just scratching my neck. <laughs> so my neck's a little red. Uh, my name is Marie Burr. I haven't decided on my Instagram name. Or no, I have an Instagram. What's my Instagram name? Stitchy Marie. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but... So I haven't decided on a name for my floss tube yet, but my name's Marie Burr. I'm the daughter of Handwork Maniac. Um, you're stabbing me with your foot. Um, so I wanted to try a floss tube because she says it's so fun. Um, and I just barely got back from Stitch West that is put on by Snug Harbor Crafts with Deb and Kef. Um, and that was a lot of fun. That was my second year going. It was the second year they've ever had it. Um, and everyone just talked about their floss tubes and so I wanted to be a floss tuber and I'm kind of like a closet stitcher like people don't really know I stitch I don't talk about it the only re people who know that I stitch are the people or people who watch my mom's videos or um when I go to retreats and stuff <laughs> But I have so much, like so many projects that I'm working on. So I figure I should just start a floss tube, right? <laughs> so I can, so somebody can know that I actually do it. So I'm not just a closet stitcher. Um, well, let's start with a whip parade. And then we'll talk about some of the things I got from Stitch West that I'm wanting to start. Um, and I might do a section of Marie's gadgets or something because I had all these things that made my life so comfortable at Stitch West um which is kind of uncomfortable because you're sitting at a table with 10 other people and there's not a lot of space and there's not a lot of uh the chairs aren't comfortable not a lot of light um so I'll give you some of my tips for things that worked the best for me that I bought off Amazon with probably some links in the description below um <clears throat> We'll do my more recent stuff last. Uh, so one of my, and I, I don't know the um, names of all of them, or like, I know the names of all, I don't know the stitch, um, the fabric and everything. I know this is Adventure Awaits by Tiny Modernist. Uh, I love it. I'm going to put it in a round. I took, I didn't put everything on there. It's done. This is done. This is all that's going to be on there. I'm going to put it on a, in like an oval kind of frame and hang it in my camper because we love to camp. I just love the colors of the mountains and everything. So this one's done. I just need to finish it. I'm such a bad finisher. I don't finish anything. Um, this is called... Rest and Be Thankful by the Cricut Collection, the Cross-Eyed Cricut. Um, and it's really cute. It is almost done, but I just can't bring myself to put the last couple stitches in. Actually, I think what happened with this one is I didn't work on it for so long that I lost the box that had all the floss in it. Um, so I need to go buy all these colors again just so I can finish it. See, like the top border is not quite finished. Um, so I really love it. I love the colors. I love everything about it. I just need to put in the last couple stitches. That's what it looks like. Um, so yeah, I really just have the top border and some more birds and snow or whatever that is coming out of the top and the chimney and that's it. And then that one will be done. I do this every time I get really close to the end of a project and then I just drop it forever. I don't know why I can't just finish it. Um, this is also from Tiny Modernist. I don't know what it's called. Um, actually, oh, it's called The Haunted Mansion by Tiny Modernist. I kind of wish I'd put this on smaller count fabric. I don't really like how big this is going to be. So I haven't really worked on it in a really long time just because I feel like it's going to be huge and you can see the stitches and I don't really like, I don't know something about it. It's on fabric flare. Um, D O D E tarnished. Yeah. I don't know. Fabric flare. Uh, I don't know what count is or anything, but 
I think I need to do this on smaller count so that it looks a little more delicate and less like a coloring book. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Um, I started this one during the pandemic. This one is called, um, I guess it's called Let's Stay Home by Satsuma, Satsuma Street. My mom started it during the pandemic. It was a free pattern and I loved it. And she did it on white. And so I wanted to do it on black. So it looked like a chalkboard. Um, I really like it, but I haven't worked on it in a long time. I'm a serial starter, not a serial finisher, unfortunately. Um, this one I started like probably 10 years ago. It's called Little, or no, The Library by Little House New York. And I really love it. I love it. Um, but then I, we had some problems with infertility and I started this before I had babies. Um, and it just got dropped. And then I found other things that I like better and I haven't worked on this in like a million years. It's really pretty. Um, so I just need to keep working on it because that would be really pretty on the wall. I'm not really a projector. Like I don't like, oh, I want this finished so I can hang it on my wall. I know exactly where it's going to be, blah, 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 blah. I'm kind of more, I just like to, I can't watch movies and stuff without doing something with my hands. Um, so I started this one with a friend, but I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like, it's so cute, but I don't like how big it is. This is going to be so big and I'm going to have nowhere that I want to put it. I wish I had done this on smaller fabric. It's on Ada, probably 18 count Ada. Um, it came out of the cross stitcher magazine. It's called at C. This is what it would look like if I finished it. Maybe I'd like it better once I got out of the repetitive stuff and up into the beach part. I don't know. I wish I had done it a little bit smaller. Um, I also don't really like working on Ada. This one is from Tiny Modernist. It's called the Halloween Ouija. And I did it on fabric flare that had a big star in the middle that I thought would, would look really cool. But I'm not very far on it. It was a stitch along. I got the house done. But I, and I started it during the stitch along, so I didn't know what it was going to be at the end. But it's really cool. I kind of like how monochrome it is on the orange fabric. I don't know fabric count or anything. But it's called Halloween Ouija, and that's what it was going to look like. I haven't worked on that one in probably a year. Since last Halloween. Um, and then I started Pandemic by Long Dog. Um, because my mom started it and hers was so pretty and I loved working with the sulky threads. I just, I loved it. Um, so here's the deal. Here's what happened. I started it and I loved it and I loved working on it and I have it on my iPad. I didn't have Pattern Keeper when I started it, but now I do. Um, it's really pretty and I love the colors I did. But then realized when I got to this point, like two pages in, that I did it on the wrong, going the wrong direction. Like I did it going this way when I should have done it going this way. So I actually restarted it right here. Uh, thinking I was gonna pick all this out over here, which is like, I guess I was an idiot, I don't know. Uh, I really want to finish it, but I kind of, I kind of think it would be funny to just go along the pattern and then stop right here and go around it and just don't do that part of the pattern and just leave that part crooked and then like with a gap between it and then just finish the rest of it. So people are like, uh, hello, like you made a big mistake. I could be like, yep, well, pandemic kind of messed everything in my life up. So that's life. Sometimes stuff happens, right? <laughs> so I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with this. 
but I love working on it because it only has one color. So you don't even have to think really like about which color and switching colors. I hate switching colors. Hate, hate, hate switching colors. Um, but this one, you don't have to, you just get a big old long thread on there. Well, you have to switch a little bit, but you only have to switch enough that when you get bored of the blue, you do some red and then, oh, I just love it so much. I don't know the stitch count or anything on that. I think I have it written down somewhere. If I find it written down somewhere, I'll put it in the description box below. And then my current project that I was working on at Stitch West that I worked on so hard, I was gonna try to finish it while we were at Stitch West and then I was like, why am I in a rush? I wanna start all these other things. How about I just start something new and work on this later? Like I don't have to finish it. So I was all stressed to finish it, but then I realized I don't have to be. So this is called Magic Tree by uh, Barbara Anna, but it's like a Nitka exclusive or something like that. So, and it's a kit. It comes in a metal tube from Russia and it's just a whole kit. It comes with the floss, comes with the fabric, comes with everything you need to do it. It's really pretty. I like it a lot. Um, I bought the two pack that comes with the Christmas tree as well. So it's got the magic tree and then a Christmas tree. Um, so I have both of them. So when I'm done with that one, I'll start the next one for Christmas. Um, and then I'm working on a Hade, um, a Heaven and Earth design, which is full coverage. And I'm only like a page in so far. A page? Two pages? I think, I'm not sure. I think where I am right now would finish this, finish the first page. I don't know, guys. Okay. It's really cool though. It's clouds and you can see it's clouds. It's easy when you see it far away, <laughs> but I really like it. Um, I'll stick a picture in right here of what it will look like when it's done. Cause I have it on my phone, but I'm not, I can't show it to you because I'm recording on my phone. And then at Stitch West, I started, I bought a bunch of projects to start. <laughs> Cause that's what I need more projects, but it's fine. Um, I bought, a couple projects to work on. I brought, bought this one. It's called Nativity Row and it's the alphabet in, and it's like nativity. It looks so cute. I loved it. And the one that they had in, I went to Shepherd's Bush in Ogden and they had it on the wall and they changed some colors and changed the fabric. So I just bought it exactly the way that they advertised it on the wall. They had like a sheet, a list of, of, changed colors um so this one is mine so far i got a little baby jesus i sent it to my husband uh while we were on the retreat but i sent it to him um not a very good picture and so he was like why does baby jesus have one giant eye and spikes coming out of his head and I had to be like, no, look, it's his hair. That one's his hair and the spikes are just like in a crown, I guess. But it's so pretty with the variegated floss and everything. I love it. I'm really excited about it. Um, I think the only colors that were changed were, so the fabric is, I don't know what the fabric was. Oh, fabric 28 count country mocha. Cut size 9 inches by 28 inches. Um, and then the only color changes they did were a couple colors. Um, they changed blackboard to uniform blue. They changed antique rose to red pear. They changed brother in blue to blue corn. And they changed cider meal brown to straw hat and they changed brown hen to 950. So they just put some variegated, some different colors in there and put it on, that's the fabric they put it on. And I loved it in the store, so I know I'm gonna love it. It'll probably be go really fast for me. Um, so that will not be a unfinished. I'm gonna finish that one, I think. Um, but that's all that I have started. Oh, my leg's falling asleep. 
that's all of my whips. This is my dog, Jason. 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 Hi. He's like, what? I bother him. It's my job. How do I get this to stay now? Um, those are all my starts, my whips. And then I bought this one. It's called En Retard. Um, and I thought it was so cute. So I bought, I kitted that one. I bought all the stuff to start it. Um, with, and Shepherd's Bush had this on their wall as well with changed colors. And I really loved their change. So when I start that, I'll have more information on that. Um, I bought this Autumn Rules by uh, Primrose. thought that was super cute, but I didn't kit this one. I just bought the pattern. Um, this one I did kit because I loved it so much. It's called Pumpkin Patch by Primrose Cottage. Um, it's so cute. That teal truck with the pumpkins in it just spoke to my soul. I love it so much. So I'm going to start that one. I bought all the fabric and the floss for that one. Changed the colors of the pumpkins so they're going to be variegated um instead of solid color i bought the candy corn of mischief by bent creek it's a big one i thought it was super cute i kid well it, it came in a kit but i i don't have any plans on starting this one soon i just thought it was so cute and had to have it um and then i bought a nora corbett which i'm a little nervous for but i could not get over it my favorite color is teal and I just love this. I've never beaded before. My mom said it's fine. It's not hard. But I just loved the little teal house squished in between two other little teal houses. And oh, it's beautiful. I didn't buy fabric for it, but it came with all the beads. So I just need to buy the floss and the fabric for it. I hope you can't hear my kids screaming upstairs. Michael is up there getting them ready for bed. <laughs> and I was like, I did my hair today. I gotta go make a video. <laughs> Sorry, babe. I know I've been gone for five days on a stitching retreat, but can you also put the kids to bed tonight? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Whoa, all my stuff's falling everywhere. But I think that's all my whips. Um... I have a couple finishes that I haven't showed. I finished stocking, I finished Kringles, so I could show those, but I don't have them with me right this second, so I'll have to do those in my next video. Um, okay, so at Stitch West, it's not comfortable. You're in an uncomfortable chair, uncomfortable situation. You don't have a lot of space, right? Um, me and my mom had a wagon <laughs> that we carried all of our stuff uh, from the hotel to the convention center. We just threw it all in a wagon and my mom brought her serger so that she could serge the edges of people's fabrics right here so that it doesn't unravel while you're trying to work on it. Um, and so we had a lot of stuff to carry and it was heavy and it was disorganized. And so we, we just threw it all in this, my kid's wagon. I have a wagon. I pull my kids in and so we took that with us and it was perfect and carried all of our stuff beautifully, which allowed me to bring more stuff, which is the best. Um, so some of the things that I took with me were this, what I call my tush kush. And I didn't even notice, we were sitting there literally from eight o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night with like a couple breaks in between. And I did not even notice getting uncomfortable. Like everyone else was like, oh, I need to stand up, I stand up, I need to stretch my back, I need to move around, my tailbone's asleep. And I didn't notice um, I did not notice getting uncomfortable. It's really thick. It's pretty hard. I was worried it would be too hard, harder than the chair, but I did not notice any problems at all. This thing's amazing. I'll link it down below. Another thing I got was this, cause for my Haid, I use my tablet. And so I have this, um, tablet holder that you can clamp onto anything. You just release this. And you can clamp it onto any surface so that your iPad stays up. Um, I was sitting kind of far away from the table because there was too many people at the table. And so you kind of had to scoot back so that you could have a little bit more arm space. Um, so I had that clipped to the table and I had my light clipped to the table. Let me grab my light.
this is the light that I brought to Stitch West. Um, and it has this clamp that goes on the bottom of it and you clamp it on there. And then you can you can clamp it onto any surface and it has a little sticky-ish traction pad up here that will help stick it to it. So I just stuck this to the table and then it, um, it will bend in any way you want it to bend. And it wasn't shining in people's eyes because it doesn't actually have any bulbs. It's just this opaque, um, opaque, is that the right word? Circle. So it's not like shining in anybody's eyes. And then you can change the color of the light so you can make it more white or more orangish yellow. And you can change the brightness up and down. Um, I did notice that while it was hooked to the thing, if I went to like go grab a color and bumped it, it would change the color or turn it off or whatever. Um, so this was a huge deal. I used this the whole time because that convention center did not have great lights. Um, it's just so versatile and pretty strong. Like the table could wiggle, but my light wouldn't like start to fall or anything. It would stay exactly where I put it. I love this light. Um, it's not battery. It is a plug. I had to plug it in. And so I did end up taking a power bank with me to Stitch West, which I left in the other room. Let me go grab it. My power bank. I'll link this in there too. I got it from Amazon during Prime Day. It's pretty small um, and it stands really well and it has a, it's easy to hold. You can plug USBs into it or you can plug plugs into it. And it's really, it's not that heavy. It was awesome. It, it um, powered my light the entire day. I charged it at night and then used it the next day and it worked swimmingly. It was wonderful. It made, it made my life so much better. <laughs> Cause if you can't see, then you don't want to stitch as long. If you're not comfortable and you can't see, you don't want to stitch as long because you're uncomfortable or you can't see or it's not easy. It's not fun, right? Cause you're working too hard to do it. Um, so I, I'm all about buying the gadgets online, right? Um, so that was my light. And then I also had this um, footrest. So this one goes as tall as a um, airplane seat because it was designed so that you could have your little kids sleep on an airplane. You just put this um, under your kid's seat or like, sorry, in front of your kid's seat and then your kid could lay down because it would basically be the same height as the chair. Uh, but it goes up to three. So you can either blow up, you can blow up this one or you can blow up these two or you can blow up all three and have it be the size of your chair kind of thing. So it just pumps up like this and just, you can put your feet on it. It made it so comfy because I feel like my chair always cuts off my blood circulation to my legs. So you have to get up and move around, but with my tush cush and my footstool, my inflatable footstool that was so versatile, you could put it in any position, um, just made my life so comfortable. Like I was stitching at home because stitching at home is where you're the most comfortable. Oh, it even came with a pump. It even came with a pump to pump it up with. So you don't have to sit there and huff and puff. Um, I think that's all my gadgets though. But I love Stitch West. I love retreats. I definitely needed a break from my kids. I've been married. I'm in my ninth year of being married. And I have a four-year-old and a five-year-old. I have a five-year-old and a two-year-old. Um, boys. No girls to stitch with me. Just boys. Boys can stitch too. But um, hopefully I'll have a daughter one day. But I have two boys, a husband, and my dog Jason right here making all this noise licking his paw. And then I have a dog named Vader who is a German Shepherd. He's just a baby. He's only like three months, four months old. We're working on training him right now and it's a really long, awful process. Um, and I have a cat, which I'm surprised didn't try to jump up and rub her face all over my video because she always does that. Um... So yeah, hopefully my first floss tube wasn't too terrible. <laughs> if you have any pointers for things I can do to make my videos better, please let me know. Um, 
I will link everything I talked about down below and 